welcome to the Paracord for Life channel. My name is Bill. I'll be doing the video today. I'm uh, going to be covering just the basic tools for paracording. Uh, the channel's sponsored by OC Paracord. Go check them out. Got some good prices on some quality products, all made in U.S. That's ocparacord.com. Uh, also, check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Paracord for Life. Uh, great group, great group of people. To get started, uh, we'll go ahead and look at just the basics. Uh, there's just a couple things that definitely need while doing paracording. Um, main thing, you're going to need some way to cut the cord. A good pair of scissors, um, knife, uh, razor blade, anything like that. Uh, these are Fisker's brand scissors. Bought them at Walmart. Um, good quality, sharp. Uh, cut yourself pretty quick with them. Now just whatever you prefer to cut your cord with. Uh, doesn't have to be the scissors. Uh, just as long as you can get a good clean cut. Uh, also, to singe the cord with, you're going to need some kind of a lighter. Um, I prefer the Bic lighter. A lot easier to get a hold of, a lot easier to find. You can pick up five or six of them for about five dollars. Disposable, don't have to worry about. Uh, you've also got butane lighters, uh, torch lighters, refillable, a little bit more expensive, lasts a lot longer. Uh, they burn a little bit hotter than your big lighter does. Uh, they do just as good a job. Some people prefer them over the Bic lighters. I just like using the Bics. That's what I started with. And that's what I, I just continue using it. Um, those are just the two basic things that you're going to need. Um, a lot of people just stick with those, those two items as tools. Um, if you really get into it, really want to pump out a lot of bracelets or anything like that. You might want to get a jig. This is one that I built. Uh, it was a little bit wider than this. I decided to redesign it, make it a little bit narrower. I didn't need all the buckles that I had on it. Uh, so I re redis redid it. Uh, one of the designs that Mr. Coop has on his channel um, seems to be a little bit better. Not as wide. Not as much to mess around with. And some of the other tools that you might want to look into. Um, something like some needle nose. Any kind of needle nose. Uh, these are some little bent needle nose that I picked up. Along with these here. They came in a little uh, jeweler's kit that I got at Walmart. Uh, came in a little bag. A few other things. Seem to work pretty good, pulling cord through tight spots. Also, the hemostats do a pretty good job. Grab a hold of the cord and keep a hold of it while you're trying to pull it through. You usually find them pretty cheap. Uh, you got your uh, lacing needles or fids. You got the blue alloy regular aluminum they come in all different sizes got long ones some medium ones some short ones just depends on what you want to get uh, you can also make your own uh, believe later on we'll have video on how to make them also Whenever singeing the cord, you're going to need something to kind of flatten it out with. A lot of people that use the Bic lighters, they'll use the metal part uh, here at the top to kind of smooth the burnt or melted cord down. Uh, use, I've got this little contraption here. came in the set with my pliers and everything. It's a little bead scoop, but the back side of it works pretty good at smoothing out the, cor the melted cord. Uh, you can also use 
the handle piece from a pair of fingernail clippers. Found those work pretty good. It's anything that's got a good flat surface on them. Um, those are some of just the basics. Uh, if you're going to be doing any of the other more advanced things, like the Turk's Head Knots, uh, Monkey Fists, they got mandrels that you can get. Uh, you can even make, the, make these yourself uh, for making the Turk's Head Knots. Got that one there. Then got a little bit smaller one here for different styles of knots. Got little screws that come that you screw out to make the different sizes for the knots. For the monkey fists, this is just one of your basic ones. This one here is Mr. Coop. Now this is one of his basic ones. Had to replace one of my pegs. I lost it, so I had to improvise and make something something else for that fourth peg there. Hoping to upgrade that soon. Get one of the bigger, better ones. A little bit more adjustment and everything on them. Um, as for the jigs, they come in all different types of sizes. Make one yourself like this. Um, you got some you can buy on eBay. This is one that uh, I got off eBay. Uh, just a yardstick, uh, buckle on it, adjustable. Works pretty good for traveling, uh, stuff like that. I got this one here, a little bit bigger one. Has two buckles on it, fully adjustable. I got this one off of eBay through Jig Pro Shop. Uh, works pretty good, also a good travel jig um, just too small for me they tend to slip around too much in my hands and get away from me i like something a little bit bigger such as this here so that it's just there i've got a good work area to work on um, as for tools that's basically about the only things you're going to need um, you can pick up quite a few of them through OC Paracord, he's got uh, the lacing needles, uh, needle nose pliers, things such as that. Um, great selection on cord, um, a lot of buckles, other things that you might need. Uh, that's ocparacord.com. Um, as far as your tools that you're going to be using, uh, that's about it. A lot of people. Just stick with just the basic ones if you're just doing the bracelets. Um, if you're getting into anything uh, heavier like the Turks Heads Knots or anything that gets real, real intricate or anything like that, you might want to pick some of these up. Um, but for now, that's, that's about it. Like I said, my name is Bill. This is Paracord for Life Channel. Um, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, for now, if you're going to paracord, paracord for life. Later.